Learners, welcome to today's mathematics class. We will be looking at money and the measurement of time and money. Money and the measurement of time and money. What are we trying to look at today? Let's quickly look at our main objective for the day. We are learning to what? Identify money of different denominations. Identify money of different denominations. And two, to write from Ghana Pesos to what? Decimal. Write from Ghana Pesos to Decimal. Let's quickly look at some of the denominations we have. Now, when you take our currency, the CDs, the Ghana CD, you realize that it is of different, different sizes and denominations. Let's look at some of these uh, denominations. We have the 50 Ghana CDs, which is in this form. Now, I will be giving you an assignment that you'll be doing at home. You'll be telling your parents, your brothers, your sisters with you at home. Now, look at when you take the 50 CDs note. I want this side, the first surface. Look at it, the features, some of the things that you can identify from this money. When you look at it, look at it. We have this. The independence art is there, the big C's. Now, the star is also there. We have other things, Coco, the heart, the coat of arm. Look at these people, this group of people. Ask your parents their names. I want you to, I want them to tell you the names of these six people. Who are they? Why are they on the currency? It's Ghana City. Now, let's look at the other one, 20 Ghana cities. 20 Ghana CDs notes. This is the note. Look at it. It's also having the similar features. But the difference, let's look at some of the difference. Look at the star here. Look at what is here. Mineral or whatever. Look at what is here. Mineral. Look at the star here. The design of the star in pentagonal shape. Pentagon shape. And look at this, it is here. But look at the cocoa, what is here? We don't have it here. So try to identify some of these features. Let's look at the text in this note. We have the same people, I don't know their names. So ask your parents when you come or we resume, you will be telling me the names of these people. The names of these people. Look at it. This is the text in this note and the color of the note. Look at this, the color. Look at this color. Are they the same? All right, your parents will help you through. Look at this. Five Ghana cities. Five Ghana cities. All right, look at it. The features are still on them. The features are here. Look at it. Nicely. All right. When you take them, try to identify the year in which they have fought and factor these notes. Look at the year. The year is here. 1st July 2015. When you look at this, this is 1st July 2015. Now, let's look at the two CDs note. Who is this man on the two CDs note? Ask your parents. Look at this one too. The same man standing here. And look at the date. The date is here. 4th August 2017, 4th August 2017, the last one, look at it, the features, and then tell your parent the date on this note, the date on this note. Alright, let's quickly move on to the second activities for the day. We are saying that we will be writing from Ghana Pesos to Decimal. How can we write that? Let's quickly look at some of the examples. We have 90 pesos, 90 Ghana pesos. 90 Ghana pesos. Now, for us to write 90 Ghana pesos in decimal, this is only thing, the only thing we can do is write 90 like this and write it over 100. Over what? 100. When you are dividing a figure like this, how many zeros do we have? One, two. Then you stand here, you count one, two. Then you write point 
coming decimal places have been moved to. So you write one two so nine zero nine zero. Now this somebody will write the answer like this point ninety or zero point ninety. 0 point what or 0 point 90 take note of that the second one this is what 80 over 100 how many zeros 1 2 then you write you stand here 1 2 point eight zero again point eight zero then you write point eight zero or you can bring zero first zero point eight zero that is that's the decimal so when they are talking of first words when you say this Ghana first words and you look at this sometimes the calculation will be very very difficult when you are multiplying figures like this. Sometimes somebody will multiply this and assume it's 80 Ghana cities. But when you write it in decimal form, in this form, you realize that the calculation will be clear. Everything will come out. What do I mean by this? Let's look at this. 80 times 2. I'm having 80 Ghana first words 2. Let's multiply this times this. 2 times 0 is what? 0. 2 times 8 is what? 16. Then you write your 16. Because there is no sign here, you will leave your answer like that. But when you take this, let's look at this. 0 0.8 times 2. Let's look at this. 2 times 0 is 0. 2 times 6, uh, so, sorry, 2 times 8 is what? 16. 2 times 0, sorry, 2 times what? Uh, 8 is what? This is the. 2 times 8 is what? 16. Then 2 times 0 is what? Then your decimal will come. Now look at this, how many decimal places you stand here? One, two. This is one sixty. That is the answer. You only stand here. One, two. That is one city, sixty pesos. One city, sixty pesos. So if you are writing in this form, multiply, you only get your answer in this form, but you cannot get it in this form. One city, sixty pesos. All right, let's continue. We will be coming to this aspect of the calculation, but let's go to today's activity. We have 70 to decimal will be 70 over 100, two decimal places, which is 1, 1, 2. So you have this, this, or point 70. Somebody will write this, somebody can write this. 60 over 100. Try that. Try the rest. Let's see. 60 over what? 100 will give us point 60 or 0 0.60. When you add this 0 0.60 or 0 0.60, when you write it, it is it's the same as what? Writing it in this form. When you write this, it's the same as this. So somebody will write this, somebody too can write this. It's the same thing. All right, let's see 50. 50 over 100 will be what? 1, 2. 1, 2. So it will be what? Point 50 plus words or 0. Point. According to what we are doing, when you come to this side, your right hand side, you start to move 1, 2, then point, then 
you write 0 0.50, 0 0.50, that is what we have written here. The next one, 40 over 100, to give your decimal first words, will be what? 1, 2. The trend follows like that, Point 40 or 0 0.40. Look at it, 30 over 100, you stand here, somebody will tell you, say you have not done this one, then this one, two, one, two. I told you because of the two zeros here, you divide it, that is why we are moving, we stand here, we move two times to our left, that will give you a decimal digit, decimal number. Point. 30 or 0 0.30 20 pesos 20 over hot 100 will be equal to 1, 2 will be equal to point 20 or 0 0.20 look at it this is how you get it one two you start your point so point two zero point two zero in decimal in decimal so i will try i will leave you where you see the star that means you are trying that one at home i will try the rest this one the last one because you can be given nine Ghana Peswa. Nine Ghana Peswa. This is one Ghana Peswa. One Ghana Peswa. Let's write it. I told you it's two zeros. So you stand here, you move how many times? One, two. The point must come. Okay? But there is no value here or digit here, so it's zero. Have you seen it? So you write point zero one or zero point zero one. Don't forget, try this one at home number nine. You are trying number one at home. You can also be given another figure like this. Let's look at it. Nine over hundred. You are changing it into decimal. So look at it. It is what? You stand here. How many zeros? One, two. So you stand here. You count one, two. Point. So there is no digit here. So you write zero here. That reads as zero uh, point zero nine equals what? Point zero nine. All right. Keep practicing at home. Let me know your let me know about your difficulties till we meet again. Bye-bye.